Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we are here to do the official q and I only actually got a few questions, but at the moment of me making this video, we are at 444 subscribers. To those subscribers, I thank you for subscribing to make their goal to 1,000 by hopefully the end of next year. And hopefully we'll be able to hit 500 by the end of next month. This coaster channel I didn't think would grow as big and it's really just amazing and I'm thankful for you guys. Now we'll be uploading more but school has gotten in the way of some stuff and also I'll hit Disney and just came home from it when we hit 400. And I also have another video that I finished that will be uploaded about two days after this one. And it's a pretty good video in my opinion. Now let's start this Q&A but first off I just want to say if you do have any questions for me leave them in the comment section I will not be making another video but I will reply and answer your questions. Now for common questions that people ask me before we get into the questions that you guys asked is how many coasters have I written? I've written, I've written 41 when I made my top 10 back in back in April, but at the moment we're making this video, I've written a total of 62 coasters, and I have a pretty good top 5 in my opinion. So now let's get into the questions you guys. Our first question comes in from Mr. Rollcoaster, who actually asked 4 questions. Congrats on 400 subscribers, thank you. What is your favorite coaster? My favorite coaster is El Toro actually at the moment. How many coasters have you been on? I've actually been on 62 at the moment. What is your favorite theme park? That favorite theme park is either in between Six Flags Great Adventure or Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. And what is the best roller coaster manufacturer? That one's pretty easy. That is into mini amusement rides. I haven't ridden in RMC, so I can't say. But right now, my, at the moment, my favorite coaster manufacturer is Intimate Amusement Rise. So thank you for the questions, Mr. Roller Coaster. Next question comes from Coaster Cloud. He asks, what is the most underrated and overrated coaster and fly ride you have ridden? I wasn't really expecting this question, but I will answer just because I really want to. The most underrated and overrated fly rides I've ridden. The underrated fly ride I've ridden is the Tilted World. I know it's a family ride, but for some reason, I really enjoyed it. The most overrated fly ride I've ridden is the swinging pirate ship rides. I think they're fun, but I just don't really see the hype behind them. The most underrated coaster I've ridden, that is Nitro at Six Flags Great Adventure. And the most overrated coaster is very hard, but I'm going to say it is Kumba, which is a B&M sit-down looper, and I really enjoy it, even though it is in my top 5. But I do think Kumba is overrated for what it is, but it's still, in my opinion, a really enjoyable ride and a top 5 coaster for me. So thank you for the question, Coaster Cloud. Our next question comes from one of my best friends in school. This is my friend James, or Jimmy. His, he asked, hi, how are you doing in these times? Right now in these times, if you don't know, I'm a coaster enthusiast, and I've been going to theme parks. Before theme parks were reopened, I would just play a bunch of video games, do the online schoolwork, and really just sit and relax. Definitely it was boring, but after a while I got used to it, and when theme parks reopened, it was just really fun, and definitely with the age of COVID, it's just it's, it just feels really weird to sit at home. And you know, I'm really am glad to go back to school now, because before I wasn't even going to school. And yes, I am opening and closing my dresser room. I am on my bed while I'm recording this because I am recording it's like almost 10 o'clock at night right now. If you guys don't know, I do record my videos at that time of night. But yeah, I've been enjoying my life. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to see Orlando, which I'm really excited for that. So yeah, thank you for the question, James, and I hope to see you soon. Like, maybe we can hang out one of these days again when, when this whole thing is over. But yeah, thank you for the question. And so I was reading my comment section, that was the last question, but two shoutouts go to X Xpug Gamer, which says congrats on 400, I hit 11. Congrats on hitting 11, my man. And Boomerang Reverse says congrats, which thank you, Boomerang Reverse. So that's going to be the end of this video. Please give me your thoughts on the video. And if you do have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section. I will reply to them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye.